far, all six races, unless something like, like what happened to Biffle. Yep. But nonetheless, uh, this is your car. You can get adjusted to it, get used to it. Might, be, might, might make a big difference. So you see the yellow car way out at the tail end of the field. Tip of the cap to the SRX crew. Got Greg Biffle all fitted in the backup car, and he will join the end of the field for this uh, heat race number two, which will get the one-to-go signal right here. And that's why we just ran a couple extra laps under the yellow, by the way, to get Biff out there and uh, get him caught up. So we'll go green next time by. You know, and, you know what's interesting about the, with Biffle is he sort of took part of the blame for that accident. Really think he was at that much at fault, but he said, I think I may have cut down on it a little too soon. Well, as the late Dick Trickle once said, it was at least 50% his fault because he went out there with that other guy. <laughs> yeah, <there you> go. <laughs> so, all right, get ready to go. 25 laps of 12 minutes for heat race number two. Kenny Wallace and Brad Kislowski on the front row. Not yet. <laughs> Come Not on, yet. Man. Win. Wait, <laughs> wait for the main. <laughs> Marco Andretti with the crossover to try and cut down in traffic in front of Ryan Newman. Andretti in the dark blue machine. I don't know what they did to Kenny Wallace's car, but that thing is boot scooting right now. Put it on the pole for heat yeah, race number two, yeah. and he knows he's got to go. He's going somewhere. Yeah. So Kenny Wallace from St. Louis, maybe one of the best short track racing ambassadors this country has besides Ken Schrader right now. And well, here with the superstars tonight. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Kenny, he, he's got over 100 dirt track wins. He loves running that car on the dirt. And, uh, man, he's got his hands full right now. Here's uh, Tony Stewart back again with the glow-in-the-dark helmet. I think I ought to check him to see how he's doing. He's back in 11th. Side by side for the lead. Hang on just a second there. There's Kenny Wallace with now Brad Keselowski underneath him for the top spot. So new leader, Brad Keselowski. I'm not sure how much damage that 36 car of Kenny Wallace has on that earlier incident. Probably a little bit. I don't know if that's hurting him or not. All right, so you were, to, you were talking about Tony Stewart, who's back there in 10th position in this second heat, heat race. Let's call him up. Want to, want to call him up? Anytime. Hey, Smoke, it's DW. You got me, buddy? What's happening, bud? Oh, I'm watching you, and I was waiting for you to make your move. Are you waiting for the last lap, or what's going on here, pal? How are you? Well, I'm trying to not rough up my buddy Torres here. We're up. Uh, we're pretty fair. Well, you look pretty good, and uh, that that helmet, that helmet is something else, pal. And that, that's a good job on the helmet. But uh, yeah, get after him. Let's go, move. Let's go, move it. Tony Stewart, tenth place right now. I tell you one thing about Tony Stewart. Ain't nobody out there trying any harder than he is. Always, always. So Brad Kozlowski leads. Everybody wants to know what's the deal with that helmet Tony Stewart's wearing, Matt. Well, Tony always likes to be someone a little bit different, and he's always had a thing for helmets. You know, he does collect them. 360 helmets from all different types of champions from around the world are in his game room. And so he loves to collect those. Also, he added an AJ40 vintage race car in his foyer. So that's pretty cool, too, but he loves his helmet. He said it's Lumilor paint, which he's got two 9-volt batteries, and when that paint takes a charge, you can see just that beautiful turquoise blue. And he told his helmet painter, Austin Pullen, I don't care what color it is, I want the brightest that you've got. He's, he's had his hands full getting off that corner, didn't he? On board with Bobby Labonte. Well, you know what they say, if you can't be good, at least look good. He looks pretty good right now. Yeah, he does. <laughs> that helmet. Here's Bobby running in sixth position. That's Marco Andretti just ahead of him and Kenny Wallace in front of Marco. Guy that's gotten through 
a few of these cars in the last several laps. That orange machine, that is Ryan Priest, Berlin, Connecticut native, 37-time race winner here at Stafford Speedway. Remember a couple of years ago, year one of the SRX series, oh, caution out. We had uh, Doug Colby, the local hero, yeah. in the race, and he won the race. Yeah. Ryan Priest was jealous. Oh, he was. And he had a chance oh, no. to try and earn a spot in an SRX race a year ago. Came to the track's big modified event, the Spring Sizzler. Finished second Oh man. to Matt Hirschman oh. and missed out on his chance. But he's here tonight, and he's moved up to third position in our heat race number two. As we're under caution with Brad Keselowski, the race leader. I like that, Priest. Camping World, we make seeing America fun and affordable. Take home this new Coleman Lantern or Rubicon for as little as $5 a day. Or this new travel trailer for less than $10 a day. $15 gets you a new fifth wheel. And for only $20 a day, you could drive off in a brand new motorhome. We make RVing fun, simple, and affordable. See America for less at Camping World. Next stop on the Formula One circuit, the Hungarian Grand Prix, Sunday morning at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific on ESPN. ESPN Deportes and ESPN Plus. Grand Prix Sunday, the free race coverage starts at 7.30 Eastern. And of course, all eyes on Max Verstappen to see if he can keep this incredible run going for Red Bull. Lights out on the pace car, ready to go racing. Brad Keselowski inside, Ryan Newman outside, coming to the green. We can really see that horsepower of these cars have the way they take off, because they take off in a hurry. Whoa! He's also got that corner a little hot. Here comes Priest to the inside for second place. I like that Priest. I like that Priest. He's not going to wait for long at all. These fans in this grandstand jump to their feet as their local guy tries to get the lead. Oh, here we go. Here's another big Rick. Got a car around in one and two. That's Paul Tracy. Paul, what did you say? <laughs> oh, was it Paul Tracy? Huh? Yeah. So let's see what we can see with this. Ooh, that's going to be three Ooh, wide. A tight down in there. Yeah, that blue car on the inside. It, uh, that's Schrader. Yeah. Just a friendly reminder that. Um, there was some contact between those two. Situation reversed a week ago. Really? Yes. You know, well, they wouldn't have paybacks in this. I mean, if, that was last week, right? No. <laughs> How many years did you drive short track races oh, I and love race cars? Yeah. yeah. You know, I'm saying my, you hit me once, I hit you twice. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Paul was running eighth at the time of the spin. Well, it might be that Schrader said to me one time, it's many years ago. Schrader, or maybe your brother Michael, said, we keep markers. Oh, yeah. We don't forget. You might forget what kind of setup you're running, but you don't forget who hit you. Yeah. All right, so second caution. I'll tell you something. We have a lot of body work to do in this race. We're in the heat races. Steve Sinclair from USAC, who administers the SRX races, calling out each car's number, and they'll have to choose right away, inside lane or outside lane, for the restart. Looks like they're reordering the cars a little bit before the choose. I know where I'd take. <laughs> bottom? The bottom. 16 5 3 on the back. 16 5 3 on the back. And let's start choosing. Let's start choosing. As the last goes first. Ready, Wallace, Kanan, Labani. You 
get the idea. They don't just have to take the inside or outside lane wherever they fall in line. They could choose to stay outside or choose to go low, but I think you want to be as close to the front as you can be. I would. I just like the inside. It looks to me like that's where you ought to be. And what the guys tell me, preach one of them, is that inside is a hot tip. Yeah. All right, so that orange car, Ryan Priest. Watch the fans in the grandstand if he gets a good jump on this restart. They will leap to their feet. Brad Kozlowski has no interest in making it easy. <laughs> Not at all. Is that a fair statement? That's fair. Oh, now. A little wide. Looking for the crossover is Priest. Kozlowski gives him a little room with a push up in the corner. Oh, he's so close. One little step by that by Kisowski and, and Priest is going to go right by him. That was the voice, by the way, of Tony Uri Jr., one of the crew chiefs of the SRX cars. Four crew chiefs, they each have to handle three, and in one case tonight, four cars apiece. Yeah, Tony Jr. built all these cars. He and, he and his shop... Uh, Built all the cars for uh, this series. He's down here tonight watching after each car, taking, making sure the cars are set up properly. Tony Jr. does, does a great job. Yeah, his, the, the company that he and uh, Jeff Fultz, uh, they, they deal with the, uh, the chassis. <laughs> yeah. The construction yeah. of the cars, yes. Exactly. Checking out heart rates, top of the screen. BK is just uh, cool as could be, isn't he? He is right now. Ryan's doing, uh, well, Priest is doing the hard work. <laughs> Priest says, I got to figure out a way to get around this cab. Yeah. I'm not sure where. I don't, I don't, I don't see any, don't see any uh, problems here right, right at this point. Might be able to get under him here, but he just can't get that nose under him. Yeah, be careful, because that's Ryan Newman right behind him. Last year's winner at Stafford. And the guy who maybe with another five laps before the rain set in last week might have been the winner a week ago. I'm going to tell you, these cars are flying around this racetrack. I mean, they really do. They have a lot of power. When they come up off the corner, I mean, they got a lot of speed. And again, for cars not designed to necessarily turn left, yeah. these guys are getting with it. All right, white flag from the starter stand as that clock ticks towards zero. One more lap to go. Can Priest mount up a charge? Will Newman factor in? Or can Kozlowski get himself a heat race win? He's got this thing under control. Something happens down here in turn three. He's going to protect that bottom and smartly so. Checkered flag is out. And a heat race win for Brad Kozlowski. Brad Free second. Ryan Newman third. Marco Andretti fourth. And Tony Kanaan comes home in fifth position in that heat race.